Sunday night and I ran in the Dono and we just thought we'd come into Brisbane, had a bit of dinner, have a bit of a look around. So it's been good. Hey Dono. It has been good but um, all things well come to an end so <laughs> we've been in town. Now we had to go back. Um, we only had a 24 hour break and the 24 hour break's nearly finished. We're waiting for an Uber and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, life is good in the city of Melbourne. Oh, uh, Brisbane. Oh, I don't even know where I am. We haven't even had much to drink. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks, mate. Yeah, so anyway, we've got to go back you know, to the yard. Um, we're both back to work tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we'll see you back at the yard. All right, well, we're back at the yard. Um, it's been a good day, long day. I've had, a, I've had my coffee, so I'm happy now. Donna's got to um, get up early in the morning, go out to, where are you going? Uh, Wakefield tomorrow. Loading. No, unloading these, oh. and then... Um, oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe loading pipe or something. It's uh, it's it's always unknown. Yeah. Anyway, and same me, and I'm I'll probably get out tomorrow afternoon. Um, trucks back in the workshop for different things, so hopefully I'll get out late. But again, I don't know where I'm going, whether it's up north or down south. We'll just Somewhere cool get the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As if. All right. We'll see you, Johnny. Have a good trip, mate. And, um, we'll see you next time, eh? All right. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye mate.
I've just come off that 24, and me and John Age, Fenton, Brisbane, and that. Um, but they sent me out Monday, oh, about two o'clock, I think I got away, something like that. And um, I'm heading back down to Melbourne at the moment. So, but I needed a night break as well. So, you know, I've had me 24 plus. Um, I needed that night break every fortnight. So that's what I'm up to at the moment in my book. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've just been really busy the last two weeks. My work's really picked up. Um, and, I, and I just didn't have enough time to put another, like, put a video together for last weekend. I know some blokes are asking for it and that, but, um, yeah, i just just been too busy, so I never got a chance to do one. But, um, the next video... I was going to try and get one through the week, get one out through the week, but I was thinking um, we might just do the whole week from Monday to Saturday because it's um, like Monday or Tuesday morning, but you know, I, I kicked off Monday afternoon, so we might just do the whole week, um, see what the see what comes up, see where I'm going to go because I don't even know where I'm going to go at the moment, so. Um, yeah, so we'll just do, um, we'll be Brisbane, Melbourne, if there's, if I go back up to Mel, up to Brisbane, that'll be another leg and then half a leg somewhere else, um, or there might be short legs, there might be like Melbourne, then to Adelaide or to Sydney, then across to Mildura or something like that, I don't, I don't know, so, yeah, it might be, um, might be a bit interesting, so I was thinking we might do that. And I'll just spend the week putting it all together. And if I've got time on Saturday night or when, when we next uh, 24 is due, I'll uh, I'll bang it all together and then and I'll upload it then. So it could be Sunday or it could be next Monday, you know. Um, yeah, it'd be something different, I suppose. Well, more of the more of the same stuff, but all jammed in together, you know, instead of just a one trip. Uh, anyway, that's what I was thinking. Um, it might be easier to do too, actually, because there's not so much filming, it's not so intense. It's just um, a little bit from each trip. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, we've got market on as well, so when we get to Melbourne, got to unload. But I'm going to be there super early because um, I'm at Gilgandra, so I can leave here. Oh, about nine o'clock in the morning. Forty-five minutes from Dubbo, so that'd be about leave Dubbo about say maybe ten thirty in the morning. Um, and it's only ten hours from there, so we're going to get in about I don't know eight thirty something like that at night. I think the market's open about ten at night or something like that. So yeah, I'll be a couple of hours early, so we're not rushed. So I can basically just muck around <laughs> like I normally do um, and still get there on time. So anyway, um, now the new truck's arrived. Like this is a new truck, no pictures. So I got the new truck. Um, but you know, I'll show you in the morning when we get down at Dubbo, wash the windscreen, fuel up and that. We'll have a bit of a look at the new truck. Um, it's just the same truck that I had before but new basically. Um, there's not much difference. Just the same model, just a Kenworth 610. Um, same sort of, yeah, it's not much different at all. So, um, all right, well, I'm going to get to bed. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the morning.
here at Dubbo. Um, I was supposed to get here last night, but I run out of run out of hours. Um, well, I didn't run out of hours. I just didn't get here before 1 a.m. because there's fires. The pillagers on fire um, between Narrabri and Coonabarabran. So we've had to go out towards um, Bogabri and like from Bogabri turn right and go through another town. I should have I should have looked. I don't know what it is, Bolga or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I bring it back out at um, Coonabarabran, going a long way. So I sort of added an extra hour onto the trip. Um, it was quite hilly out there too in the end. So it slowed me down a bit because I'm pretty heavy. I'm sort of had to take some off again when I was at LFL. So some had to come off. So I'm 64, 800, something like that. So, um, yeah. But the truck pulled all right. Like, um, it pulled like obviously a lot better than the old one. Um, this thing's just clicked over 17,000 kilometres, and I picked it up at 10,000, oh, about 900, um, 9,000 and 900 and something. So they wanted to put 10,000 on it um, and then give it its first service, and then I got it after that. I picked it up in Coffs Harbour on the way down to Sydney. So, um, and I've put 7,000 on it so far. So, yeah, but um, it's not bad, you know, it's nice to drive. Obviously being new, everything's tight. Um, there's no rattles or everything, but the steering, it's, it's got really good responsive steering. Like you're not constantly correcting the truck all the whole trip, you know, you can it just stay still. You can drive with a couple of fingers, you know, which is good. Um, so, and yeah, you, you sort of feel better after the trip because you haven't sort of worked that hard, um, like concentrating all the time, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll have a quick look around. And what I do miss is the analog clock. I've lost all my gauges. Um, so, and I, I use the analog clock quite often. You know, it's the first thing I look at in the morning. So I'm actually playing with the idea of um, buying a small kitchen clock <laughs> and hanging it up on the back wall. Um, just, you know, because you get up, first thing you do is, right, what's the time? Now later I slept in, you know, but because there's no clocks here on the dash, you got to get up out of bed, you got to turn the key on, you know, or, or you know, look at your phone or whatever but I just like the analog clock somewhere in the truck so I can just have a quick look see what time it is right um we've been here nearly an hour so with fuel and I had a quick shower and that so um I suppose we better get going um I don't know what time it is because I don't have a clock nah it's probably um it's probably quarter to twelve so oh, well ten two now actually um so I'll go in about 10 minutes. Um, I still I still work on the 15 minute increments. So if it's 10 to, like I'll usually wait the 10 minutes instead of like just going. And that, I don't know, it's just the way I've done it the whole time, you know, just the 15 minute increments. So I'll just wait the 10 minutes and get going. So quarter past 12, we'll go. Um, it's 10 hours from here down to the market. I'll probably have Oh, I'll probably have two half hour breaks, I reckon. Like I'll pull up at West Wylong at the Shell like I always do. And um, I guess a little over six hours. It could be six hours to the market, um, but you're not gonna get back to the yard. But it's hot and, and I'm already running a little early, so I'm not gonna like push six hours when I don't need to. So yeah, so I'll pull up for half an hour at West Wyong and then I'll probably um, pull up for another coffee somewhere. Probably Yarrawee, because they got that new rat house there. It's quite nice. So I'll probably um, pull up at Yarrawee tonight for a quick coffee and then um, and we'll just roll into the markets.
with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your fork still holds Your place in your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules Talking way too loud And you're talking rude You're playing the game Driving me insane Your heart is back And it's a fact No turning back You got me tiptoeing around you Like you made a black Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Oh, when I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft. Hope 
hoping to find somewhere we can call home But it's black, yeah it's black Oh the water's black Cause it's black, it's all black Black water If I had some time I'd be biting it well But my house is on fire There's no one left to tell Just take what is given The doors have been sealed Just breathe in the poison And hope God is real I'll pick you violet flowers If I get there faster than you I'll pick you violet flowers If I get there faster than you Cause it's mad Yeah, it's mad It's black, yeah, it's black Oh, the water's black Cause it's black, it's all black Black water Five minutes to here um, where my cow calo um, but it's taken me like an hour and a half or yeah, about an hour and a half to get here so anyway I'm just gonna um, go in grab a coffee and that maybe a sandwich um, and then get going I'll only be here 15 minutes I reckon um, we're going back up to Brisbane again um, it says here you got to be in by 4 a.m. Um, Friday morning. So, 
that means I've got to be in by about 2 a.m. because I won't be delivering it, I'll be just taking it to the yard. So um, I've got to get in there early enough so I can put it on the dock. Now. So I can put it on the dock um, and then they can unload it, put it on the rear jutes or, or other trucks to go and deliver it. So I've got to be in there early enough for them to muck around with it with the load. Um, so they can take it over. Yeah, so don't have a lot of, oh, yeah, you've got a bit of time, but yeah, we can't muck around it anymore because I've just lost half an hour or so. Um, I'm probably going to go up the coast road, I reckon, because I've, I've lost that time there. And I was just wondering if the pillar is still closed, you know, between Coonabarabra and Narendra, uh, Narrabri. Um, if that's closed, we've got to go up by um, Bogabri again, so you lose another hour there in the hills and everything. So I, I thought I'd just run up the coast road this time, so we don't lose any more time coming up. So, anyway, um, it's a bit boring, but anyway, that's the way it is. Alright, well I'll just race in, grab me coffee and that, and we'll get going. morning we just pulled up a Sutton Forest um, because I had 15 minutes there at uh, Calcalo you know after the um, 
I was a bumper to bumper traffic just coming out of Melbourne. So we had 15 minutes there and then we had half an hour at Gundagai, at the dog and the tucker box. Um, so now I still owe the book another 15 minutes. Um, Cause I thought from Gundagai I could get straight to Wyong, but um, I was gonna be short like 15 minutes or something because I only had 45 minute break in the end so it was only going to allow me from Gundagai to travel uh, four hours 45 minutes or something and I think um, the GPS was telling me it's about five hours um, with all the hills um, down, up, down up there to Wyong so um, anyway we weren't we're going to miss out by about 15 minutes so um, I've got to sit here now for a another 15 minutes um, to let the book catch up so and we can get in a while um, so I guess yeah we're forced to have another coffee I'm afraid there's no way out of it I'll probably sleep for seven of them. Alright, well, I'll see you when I get up. Alright, we're back
half past two, I just did laughter. We just up and have a break. I just pull in and grab a quick coffee and that. Um, we left Wyong at about quarter to two, something like that, and it was really, really hot at the moment. Um, it was 44 when I left, 44 degrees, and it's cooled down to about 41 now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know what Queensland's gonna be like. Anyway, all right, well, I'll just go in, grab a coffee, and we'll get going. Why wasting time to try to fix this on your own? You said you'd be alright, and round the corner is another day. Although I know that's a lie, I'm waiting for you to give it up. Cause there is some hidden love, hidden love, hidden love Just for us Cause you got the free love You want to heal the world So now I am saving minds for us coffee, fueled up, washed the windscreen, um, yeah, we'll get down now, been here probably 45 minutes I reckon, um, it's still hot, probably, I don't know what time it is, um, up past 7, had a guess, and it's still 32, 32, 33 degrees, and it's just boiling, you know. Um, I can't believe it was at 44 this afternoon when we left uh, Wyong and that. So that's the hottest I've ever seen it. All right, well, we'll keep going. Um, should be in by about midnight, I reckon. Um, and that'll be 11 o'clock their time in Brisbane. So heaps early. Leave 
say if I ever came back again. Well, I still wonder and I miss you. I know I'll ask you when I see you again, my friend. Now, what do you do? Pick up my guitar Too much on your plane When you need to escape Everything will be better when I find Find a way Alright, well we made it um, Got in the gate about midnight So, yeah, that's alright um, Get another night break in And didn't have to start a new page in my book either which is, I don't know, I always think it's good, you know, because I don't like, I just hate putting an hour in one page. It just seems like a waste to me. But anyway, um, they rang me, NGO rang me to tell me that they haven't got much going at the moment, but um, have I got enough days to do another trip if they want me to do another one? So, yeah, they're just um, making sure that they can put me down on the list if they've got some. I reckon they would have. So I'm not sure where I'm going to go tomorrow. Um, they just had to ring them up in the morning and just see if there's anything going. So I might have a 24 here and that'll be the end of the week or there might be one more leg in the week yet. So um, we're not done yet. So we'll just keep going. Um, if you don't want to come on the, on the last leg of the week, um, you just want to stay at home, well, that's fine, that's all right, and then maybe watch it some other day. Because um, I reckon the video will be getting a bit long, but like I said we'll do a week, so this is my week. All right, well, um, I'll finish cooking up my snags that I've got. Uh, I've just had them sitting in the fridge, and if I don't eat them, they just go off, or they sit there for a couple of weeks, you know, because I've forgotten about them, so... I just thought, since I've got in a bit early, I'll um, just cook them up. So, all right, well, I'll have me dinner and then have a shower and go to bed. Um, and I'll see you all in the morning. Wales time. Um, I've got a text. I'll have to open that up. Um, saying that they want me to go to Mackay today, um, and the load's going to be ready about um, half past eleven to twelve over at um, Brisbane Markets or LFL as we call it. So <clears throat> I've just got up, just had a shower, coffee. Um, that's all I've got time for really now I've got to get going because it'll probably be on the shuttle like it's probably freight for Townsville and Cairns and, and that so they'll put it on the shuttle so um, there'll be a bloke waiting for me up at Mackay to take it on further north um, so yeah, I don't want to muck around too much because these changeover blokes that are winch. Oh, where you been? You got out late. The other bloke gets out earlier than you do. <laughs> so I suppose we'll just get going. But I haven't done anything yet. I've got a fuel up truck and everything yet. So, um, yeah, so I'm sort of busy again, straight off the bat.
and these curtains are still new so um, oh no they just seem to be stiff they were, they were like that from you you know I, mean, I don't think they're going to improve any so I've got to i got to wrestle with them every morning or whenever I'm using them I've been here 12 hours, but <laughs> come on. I've been here 12 hours, but it just still doesn't seem long enough. Um, like, what's the time? I'll get here midnight, and then I cook a bit of dinner. And by the time I got the truck back here, um, it was 2 a.m. or nearly 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I hadn't ring Joy yet, so you gotta, I gotta ring the wife up, and she'll want an hour as well. So um, now it's 3 o'clock. Um, and I wanted to get the truck in to the workshop. To, um, to, now yeah, it's hot again, to, um, oh, the ice pack cover, there's a bit of a stone guard at the bottom to stop the stones hitting the motor from the bottom, um, and it rattles, you know, so I wanted to get two strips of rubber along the sides of it and then bolt it down on the rubber so it's not going to rattle and quieten everything down. But, you know, they've got trucks in there and I've got to get going. So I don't have time for that anymore. Nor have I got time to get the truck washed, which I was hoping to get done. Um, that's not happening either. So, um, depending on what's happened in Mackay, I suppose I'll just go up to Mackay and, and probably come back if I've got the hours. So, I'll, yeah, what's today? Friday. So all that now I'll have to wait till Sunday. Of course, the workshop's closed on Sunday, so the rubber's out until Monday. And I guess I'll just have to wash the truck myself on the Sunday, I guess. But, um, I got this video to do on, on Sunday, on my 24, and that's gonna take like all day. <laughs> so, anyway, stop your whinging. Um, Alright, we better get going. We'll just go over there, fuel up, and then head over to the markets, pick these trailers up, um, yeah, and get going before the traffic starts. Because it'll start, what, 2 o'clock, probably? <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Just quickly give it a scrub over and get going.
still hot. Alright. Um, I've just pulled in out of the shell, grabbed a coffee and that. <laughs> Spill it over myself. The luminary again. Um, yeah, so with these Mackays, it's on the shuttle. So, there's some bloke waiting for me at, up at Mackay. Um, oh, hang on, what else have I got to do? It's only two o'clock in Brisbane, don't forget. I, I always work on New South time. So it's only two o'clock. Um, so it might be all right, actually, hopefully. Because I've had the bloke in Mackay. He's already rang me up. Well, I haven't spoke to him. I never got a chance to answer the phone, but he's already contacted me. So he wants, to, wants me to let him know when I'm leaving, which I'm yet to do. Um, so, anyway, we'll just get on the freeway, and then I'll, I'll give him a call. minutes here which is 13 minutes already um I'll just over there I'm here at Jin Jin um and the fella in there was telling me that they've got a new manager there now I don't know I reckon it's some bloke come down from Brisbane or something and um he was working there with his wife like they're on the same shift and everything. Been working there like that for probably two years, something like that. Anyway, this new manager has told him that he can't work with his wife anymore. Um, so they put him on separate shifts. Like, why would he do that? Why would he, why would he bother? They've been working together for two years on the same shift. So, you know, so they work together, they're home together. You know, and then we now these new blokes come in and put them on separate shifts. So now they're just gonna pass all the time. Um, I don't know these these big managers. They reckon they can fix everything and make things better, and um, they just make things worse. I reckon. Um, yeah, he was telling me that he was doing big security camera checks and. Um, coming down hard on everyone you know so I don't know 
I don't think the place will change, it's just his new boss trying to make a name for himself. Alright, well, um, I've been here nearly 15 minutes. So I'm just going to have it. The next stop is, um, oh, look, I've forgotten the name of the joint. It's about, it's about five hours out of, um, um, out of Mackay anyway, so it's just up the road. I was going to go there first, but I had to, had to stop here, um, have a leak. So I'm going to have 15 minutes here. I'm going to have 15 minutes over there or probably maybe even 30 minutes, you know, um, just so that I don't have to stop again. All right, well, the 15 minutes is up, so we'll get going. Narrabee was the place I was thinking about. I can never remember. I got a memory like a sieve. Um, so from here, it's probably five hours into Mackay. So um, I got here about quarter past nine and I was hoping to sort of leave at quarter to 10, but I was just looking at the checker, the logbook checker and if I leave at quarter to 10, it's saying I can only travel four hours, 45 minutes. So I've got to wait till 10 o'clock now um, before I get me six hours back. So, so then I don't have to stop. I can just go the full five hours into Mackay and this can be the last stop. But um, yeah, if I only stay here 30 minutes, like I planned, I'm only going to get four hours, 45. So I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to run out of, well, you know, I'm going to run out of time or run out of my hours. I'm going to be 15 minutes over. So, I might as well just wait for the, like, I might as well just wait till 10 o'clock. But I got that bloke waiting for me, but I called him up and, um, oh, no, he didn't seem too bad. He wasn't really fussed about it, you know, so, yeah, just makes it easier. Like, there are some blokes some, some of these changeover fellas, you know, they get a bit narky and, oh, you should have been here on time, you should have left earlier. And the other bloke takes 10 hours, why does it take you 10 hours, 15? You know, all that kind of crap, you know, and I, that's why I don't do changeovers. Because, um, yeah, it's stupid, you know, blokes just push, 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 you know. But anyway, um, but this other fella that I've got tonight, he doesn't seem too bad, which is good, makes it a lot easier on everyone, I reckon. So, um, anyway, I'll have to sit here, I've got my coffee, so, yeah, I'm happy enough. Um, probably got another 20 minutes to wait, so, and then, um, yeah, we'll just cruise on in, take our time. This truck, this new truck that I've got, Aston does 100. Um, it's only two more kilometers on the old truck, but, over five, six, 12 hours, you know, it makes a big difference. So you can get to places where you couldn't get before, you know. Um, anyway, and I wanted to stop here, even though I did have 15 minutes at Jin Jin, I want to pull up here, because I want to punch it in my GPS. So if I ever do a changeovers again, and I was, I was in a bit of a hurry, or I had to get there quick, I could just punch this area, Banarabi, into my GPS. It'll tell me when I'm going to get there, if I'm going to make it, like if I'm caught in traffic too much or for too long. You know, I can punch it in and say, all right, well, you've still got time to get there. So then I know if, I'm, if I can push to get here or, or not bother about it. That's the main thing. So I want to log it in to, to the GPS. I've done that just so it's there so I know for next time. 
all right well i'll um i might just bring the missus have a chat to her for a little while she's bought herself a new tv well i bought the tv but i won't watch it until about june so um big giant thing i think it's like i think it's a 75 inch tv or something she bought a sony so um yeah it got delivered yesterday but in the philippines the people from the shop come out and they set it all up for you you know they they hook it up and get it all ready so it's right now seal sitting in the box because the bloke that was supposed to come around and do it all he's got the flu apparently so he can't come out there's no one else that can do it or no one else who's trusted could do it so um yeah we just have to wait for him to get better and then he'll come out and set it all up um uh, could be tonight could be tomorrow who knows could be sunday but anyway she's all excited about that all right well i'll go and ring her up and uh see how it's going about yeah, I ended up getting here about quarter past three um, that's New South time um, so it, it took me five hours 15 minutes to get here from where we stopped Banarabai Banarabai something like that anyway I thought it was only going to take five hours um, that's why we waited for the 45 minutes but as it turned out because there was a couple of stop and goes Actually, there was about four or five of them, you know. And I, I got held up at about three of them. Um, I don't know, three, four minutes each, something like that. So, um, yeah, so I lost about 15 minutes all up in the end. So, five hours, 15 minutes to get here. So, I needed, as it turned out, I actually needed... Um, the six hours anyway, or the five, uh, five and a half hours at the very least. So, um, yeah, four and three quarters. I would have had to stop again, you know, so I would have just wasted my time. Um, I probably shouldn't have stopped it for, um, for Narrabai. I should have kept going further um, and a bit closer to Mackay and that, but anyway because I've just added 15 minutes onto the onto the trip now by doing it um, or not not stop at Jinji like I did just gone from Eagle Farm straight to Panera Bay and then straight here you know um, but anyway as it turned out when I got here the changeover bloke wasn't even here I rang him up um, about an hour out Got him up out of bed and that, and um, when I got here, I'd gone around, a few of the trailers up, bring it round again, parked it up in front of the front of the out gate, and um, he still hadn't arrived. <laughs> so, so yeah, so um, no hurry, really. Um, yeah, all right, well, tomorrow or later on in the morning, I, 
I could be waiting for this other fella, Marcus, his name is. And he's gonna go up the towns, we'll unhook, hook up another set and bring him back down. Um, I might be just sitting here waiting for him to come back, or maybe they might give me something else. Um, I don't know, we'll just wait and see what happens. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed now and probably get up about 11. 10 or 11, I reckon, something like that. And yeah, see what, see what, uh, see what they say. I normally do it. Um, straight down to Rockhampton, half an hour there. Uh, then Jin Jin, half an hour there, and then go in from there. Um, yeah, just kind of cruise in, take your time. I've got to go to the markets for this one. So just drop the trails off, and that's it. Bob tail back to the yard. Um, yeah, I should be on 24 then, I reckon. So, and then there's heaps of other things I have to do on a Sunday. Ah, oh, well, let's get into it. Come on, door. You can tell I'm getting tired. always bugger at the end of the week and it's hot as well it's hot and muggy which is, isn't helping I'm always sweating like a pig my old grey towel gets a hammering <laughs> so we don't need a wash Along with everything else I have to do. Wind, wind, gripe, gripe. Ah, oh, plug this thing in so I don't get lost. Pictures, but it's, yeah, they're different. Um, 
me. I, like, I didn't think they were going to be the same. You know, because we're just too hard to make them exactly the same. <laughs> so, anyway, it is what it is. And, um, yeah, we'll have, we'll either we'll have to change it or I'll just have to live with it, I guess. But I reckon I'll probably just have to live with it. Um, bit disappointing because I just wanted the two gates to match perfectly, but. I probably should have been there um, to oversee the whole thing, but anyway, no matter. It's done now. Alright, well, I suppose we'll get going. It's about 1.30. I've done my book already. Um, we've been here. Oh, we've been in Mackay about 10 and a half hours. So, um, I think that will do. And we'll get going. Um, it's usually about 11, 11 and a quarter hours driving time to Brisbane. I'm a little bit heavy, so it might take a little longer. Um, it is the holidays as well, coming up to Christmas, so I might get a bit of traffic. Um, yeah, we'll just see how we go. Alright, well let's go. anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby well, you don't see that very often. Got to get a video of that. Potato bake for lunch, but um, plastic containers and plastic cups. You know me, take the time to dig deep underneath this red heat. We could really So yeah, the 
training and I've just been talking to someone in the roadhouse there and they reckon it's, well they said it was hailing down at Gympie so um, they reckon the storm's going to get like worse as I go down south so we'll just see what happens when I get down there um, it's about again, don't know what time it is I don't know what time it is <laughs> I'm going to get that kitchen clock um, yeah, I, I, probably about 9.30, <laughs> 9 9.30, something like that, so, anyway, alright, well, we'll do this last little bit, and, um, yeah, and then we'll see you back in the yard. We don't need to act strong, it's been too long. Twenty-four now, so um, I probably won't be doing anything until Monday, which is good. So um, I'll get them rubbers done that I talked about before for the ice pack uh, motor. 
So I want to get them done, so I'll, I'll get the truck in first thing Monday morning. Um, I'll see if I can get it washed, if I've got enough time, because as I said, this video that i got to do, it's going to take, uh, they take a long time. They're just fiddly things to do um, with all the other stuff I put in. So, yeah, anyway, so I'll be busy with that most of Sunday, I reckon. Um, yeah, I'm just cooking up some meals. I had um, a couple, of, I had those two sausages left in the fridge, some eggs and um, that can of baked beans and that, so I thought I'd better cook them up. So, you know, I'll go shopping again on Monday and get some new stuff. Um, yeah, all right, well, we'll leave it at that. I'll wind the video up here. and I know it's been a long one. Um, yeah, and if you watched it right through, yeah, thanks, I really appreciate that. There was a lot of stuff jammed in there. So, but that's me week. That's um, just basically just an average week for me. I do that most weeks, like different runs, different places. It's always about the 5,000 kilometres, so, yeah. Anyway, all right, well, um, it's nearly Christmas, so I, I reckon I'll be working over Christmas, I'd say. I'll just um, we'll see what happens, maybe. We've got them big floods up there at North now, so I was just talking to my mate, and he was saying that you can't get up to Mariba unless you go the back way. Um, so, I... Oh, just on um on his phone there you can see a lot of the road damage and that up there so anyway um they probably won't send me up there i'll go and do something else i suppose all right well we'll wind it up here and um thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one Yeah, you can stop it. Oh, 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 yeah, no, You've no. done nothing to complain since oh, your family come on. had it. <laughs> you said you'd be all right. And around the corner is another day. No, no, not my phone. It's easy with this. Uh, Although I know that's a lie. I'm waiting for you to give it up. G'day. I'm Ken from Outback. Fuck it. No, sorry. Because there is some hidden